farm just crack a lack of. Yeah, good morning guys and welcome. Up on the screen the swamp child makes a huge mistake. And uh, I'm referring to a video that Boss Hog uploaded uh, recently. And that's what we're going to get into today. We're going to have a look at this video. And I have to say this, that this clown, this absolute swamp tad, how he dare put these videos up, I'll never know. He spent nearly 20 minutes droning on, uh, confusing himself and confusing his subscribers, the few that's left, uh, with uh, figures. And uh, it was a real monologue. Now, before we start, I want to say this. A few months ago, he says I want to pull out, pull out all the stops uh, to make this channel uh, take off. Well, if that's your idea of uh, pulling out all the stops, I'm afraid that a lot of people would have clicked into that video and clicked out because I've never heard such a load of boring, mundane content in all my life. Now it took uh, Fatso 18 minutes to get to the point. It won't take us that long. Um, but he's down by the crayfish tanks and uh, this is where the mistake was made. And he, as I said, he drones on and on and on. Uh, but I want you to uh, look at a clip and then we'll come back. Listen to this absolute swamp tod. I'm trying to fully explain what happened and why it, uh, what happened and why it happened and what we're doing to uh, keep it from happening again. So, in that tank right there, we had over a hundred crayfish. The ones that were, about 50 of them were uh, of saleable size. And uh, we lost 125 crayfish in that tank. And I was pissed at myself. Although there were contributing factors, the buck stops here, in the end it was my fault because I was trying to just juggle too many things here with what I had going on with this aeration. So that he is uh, explaining, or starting to explain, uh, what the uh, huge mistake was. And he started off by pointing to a tank and saying that uh, in that tank there, uh, there was 100 crayfish, uh, 50 of which were of sellable size. He says, we lost 125 crayfish out of that tank. Well, Brian, your sums just don't add up. Uh, there's 100 in there and you lost 125 something amiss there isn't there wouldn't you say plus the fact guys he says 50 were of a sellable size of all the crayfish updates he's ever done um we've never seen any crayfish whatsoever uh, that were large enough to sell and he would be the first person to be making a video if those crayfish were any size it seems that uh, he's confused himself, he's confused his, uh, uh, his subscribers and his ramshackle uh, setup has confused uh, a few more occupants at the Bohovel. So what is the reason behind this huge mistake? Well, let's have a little uh, listen uh, to this next clip. Uh, in the interests of keeping enough water in these last tanks here for Maricel to water her garden, 
I raised the depth of the water in these tanks. And to further ensure that Marcel had enough water to water her plants, she would remove that circulation hose and let it just feed back into this. And uh, so, so that this small little pump would quit pumping water out so that she would have more water here. And the last time that she watered, she forgot to, uh, to move it back into that first tank. So there was no water circulation. And as I'm going to explain later in this video, it's important to have both aeration and water circulation. So there you are. It's uh, Marcel's fault. Uh, I can tell you now that uh, it took him a good 10 minutes. I've cut a lot out. It took him a good 10 minutes to get to the point. And the point being that um, Marcel's been taking water out of the crayfish tanks uh, to water her veg. And of course, instead of putting the, uh, the water pipe back into the tanks, she forgot. So that was the huge mistake. But the swamp tard is not finished yet. He's done the blame game and all this pity me carry on. And uh, he now moves on. And as usual, uh, a video would never be the same without the uh, pity me and the e-bag coming out of the Bahovel bum. Listen to this. So as I will explain uh, with facts and figures and numbers and stuff, and when you combine not having water circulation with basically cutting the available aeration in half, then you have uh, crayfish fairly concentrated in one pile, like we did in that tank, you end up with a bunch of dead crayfish, and that's exactly what happened. That's part of that. That's part of the reason why there hasn't been a crayfish update, because I'm just so pissed at myself. And other than uh, basically killing 125 of them, there was nothing to update. But those 50 that were ready to sell, that we we were going to post on Facebook Marketplace that night, right at 100,000 pesos, died in that tank uh, the night before we were going to start advertising them. And we desperately need those pesos uh, as farm income. So there he is giving out his excuses as to why uh, this huge mistake happened. And um, I have to say that he waffled on so much, guys. I cut a lot out. I put the main parts in. And uh, one of the uh, main parts was the fact that um, he said they were ready to sell crayfish on Facebook Marketplace. And... Uh, the question is, why haven't we seen these crayfish that he said he was going to sell? Why hasn't, why hasn't he done an update? He mentioned he never did an update because they all died. But why didn't we get one before that? And then, of course, um, 100,000 pesos he's lost. Really? Are you sure? Is that not another pity me, Brian? Another catastrophe at the Bahovel. Catastrophe, failure after failure. And the fact that he's mentioned this 100,000 pesos, um, why has he done that? Why has he had to mention such a figure? Why does he admit that he is a clown and a failure? That's because he wants you to feel sorry for him. And he wants the, someone to send him some cash. e begging in every video. Look at me. I'm a clown. Please help me out. And of course, uh, in another video that he uploaded, um, 
he was showing us the fields, the work on the fields, and we have been calling him out, and questions have been asked, what's happening with fields uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6? Well, take a look at this screenshot here, because what you can see here is um, the fields, obviously, and uh, strewn with weeds, an absolute shithole. And it's proof that he's never been anywhere near these fields because he's actually got trees eight foot tall. Yeah, he's got trees growing in those fields. There's Hippie and Consing uh, chopping down trees along with the weeds and there is your answer. The Bohovel Bum, Brian Granville Smith, the clown uh, with the uh, silver tongue, has never been anywhere near those fields. He's never been farming because he's not a farmer. What you see on his uh, short videos that he makes is a little snippet and uh, there's no farming going on. People need to wake up that this absolute swamp sod is a con man and a grifter and a damned liar. Those fields there, guys, the trees in them, how long does it take a tree uh, to uh, grow eight foot tall? Three months, four months, six months? Uh, you can uh, be the judge of that, but from what I can see, that is an absolute jungle. And there's your answer. The fields have not been worked. And before we see any squash coming out of the shack, the bohovel, um, I think it's going to be at least six months. So there'll be more e-begging, there'll be more pity me uh, from the bohovel bum. And I want to... Um, I want to go back to something we keep mentioning on this channel is the fact that you never ever see a success story coming out of the Bohovel. It never happens. It is always a failure. It's always some kind of catastrophe, be it a typhoon, uh, be it the fact that all the crayfish have died or all the tilapia uh, were taken by typhoon or debt or be it blight there's always something but never ever any success and the reason for that is that this man is an absolute barefaced lying grifter he's not a farmer he's a clown so guys uh, till the next time and there will be here next time, probably a members only public live stream. Bye for now. No push to get your farm just crack a lacking.